So the first thing you want to do is figure out how to make rocket fuel. It's a fairly simple recipe just using obsidian glass to get you 16. You're also going to make a mixer that uses an impeller and uses four more ingots around it. You could take the mixer and one of those um, fuel pipes that you just made and you get to make a fa fractian fractionation unit. Now this thing requires quite a bit of power. You can use a gasoline engine geared up at 16 times for speed. Let me turn it on. And you power it from the bottom, and it takes blaze powder, tar, sand, coal, ethanol, crystals, netherrack, dust, and magma cream. And ethanol crystals you get from the fermenter, and these two I'm going to show you how to get later. The gas tier doesn't get used up, but you do need it, and it sh starts pumping out fuel in the top. Now, bedrock crusher uses diamond, steel, obsidian, bedrock breaker, sorry, and it takes a lot of torque. You could use a performance engine geared up 32 times for torque to do it, or an easy way is just a hydrokinetic engine powered with some lubricant. And it will crush up to five pieces of bedrock in front of it, facing any direction. And you right-click it, and you get the bedrock dust out of it. Now, this, this thing's been running for a while. Now, a boring machine uses just a drill, a two-times gear unit, a circuit board, and some steel. And this is pretty cool. It's a sideways quarry. All you need is really a gasoline engine geared up eight to one at torque. And then when you power it, you can see there's some pipes here. It leaves behind pipes in its path, and the pipes are really easy to break. Just break one of them, they all go down. It'll carve out any th design you tell it to make. You see, I have five blocks untouched, so it's not going to touch any of those five blocks. And it's continue going to mine out and dump anything into adjacent chests. So it's, it is a sideways quarry that just goes on forever. It chunk loads itself as it goes, so there's no need to worry about that. And the blocks are solid, so it won't be filled up. And like I said, just break one, and they all go down. So now you can take an impeller and some liquid pipes, and you will get a pump. Now this pump is really easy to power, just a DC electrical engine powered up 8 to 1 with torque, and it'll start pumping out liquids from anything underneath it. You use to pump out water or lava in the nether, which I've never actually tested, but I'm sure it works fine. You can see it pulling that out. Now if you take another one of those mixers and some pipes and some steel, well, yes, yeah, steel, you can get an obsidian factory, which when powered with a gasoline engine at 4 to 1 for speed, it will take in lava and lava and water, and it will turn it into obsidian blocks. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. But it'll turn it into obsidian blocks. So you don't have to mine them out. Now, if you take a shaft and a compressor, this is, and some steel and glass, you will get a dew point aggregator. Which, if you get a steam engine that geared up 16 to 1 for speed, so you need lots of speed in this, it will pull water out of the air. It even works in the nether, even though it's very slow. So now, if you take two saws and a gear you get a grinder, which this is a really important machine. All you really need is a steam engine powering it with a four times geared for torque, and it will run perfectly fine. The recipes you can do with it is turn stone to cobble, cobble to gravel, gravel to sand. It turns netherrack into netherrack dust, and soul sand into the tar sand, which are both needed for the fuel crafting. It also turns a canola seed into 91 millibuckets of lubricant. Now this crazy recipe right here takes a plank, some stone, and impeller, um, a drill, another rack, and it makes this crazy looking thing an extractor. It's a four stage um, ore production process. The f each stage requires something different. The ga first stage takes a gasoline engine geared up 4 to 1 for torque. Second stage just needs a steam engine geared up 4 to 1 for speed. Third stage is a gasoline engine geared up 16 to 1 for speed. And the fourth stage can use a gasoline engine geared up 2 to 1 for torque. Middle two stages both require water. If you want to do all four stages at once, you can use two micro turbines geared up 16 to 1 for torque or a single gas turbine will work, but if you want it to run fast, you can get it up four times for torque also. And what this will do is it'll take any ore you put into it, and it'll continuously cycle it through, doing four stages at a time. Each stage has a 50% chance to double it for a total of about 5.06 times your ore you put in, and it gets you flakes in the end. The flakes should just be cooked for ingots. You can use 256 steam engines, 4096 DC electric engines, 64 gasoline engines, 16 performance engines, or 8 hydrokinetic engines will also power it at full speed, but that'll take a lot of steel. Now if you were to take a combustor, a, a compressor, and all this stuff, <laughs> you get a pulse jet furnace, and this is a nifty furnace. It can take obsidian and make it into a blast proof grass. It'll take some nine scrap and make it back to ingot. It'll also take your, I believe it'll take your iron and convert it into steel for you without the need for any other stuff. Now some bedrock dust, diamonds, obsidian, and a steel will get you one of these pressure heads, four pressure heads around a 16 times gear unit, and some ingots and panels will get you a compressor. Now this thing takes heat, don't overheat it though, and it takes a ton of torque. Everything's in torque. See, I don't even have enough torque right now. 
but if you get enough torque build up you can compress coal into another four coal into another material four of those into something else four of those into diamond and so I think a stack of coal gets you a diamond maybe but it's a very torque heavy process it also takes heat now if you get redstone panels iron bars you can get a steel purifier which will take any steel from any other mod and it will turn it into the HSLA steel so you can see that will start running and it takes a steam engine geared up 2 to 1 for torque now if you take two reservoirs and some furnaces you get a lava smelter. This thing's really nifty. It is a it is a furnace with 18 separate inventory slots that all cook at once. You can see it's cooking. It requires temperatures over 600 degrees, and it also requires lava and a just a steam engine will do fine for power. And you can see it smelts 18 different things at once. Now, if you take an impeller and some cooling fins and some iron, you get a fluid crystallizer if you power water into this, and also give it a bit of speed of torque provided by a steam engine and a two times gearbox for speed. It will turn any water you have into ice as long as the temperature is low enough, where you can just put ice around it and it'll accomplish that. So that's it for this speed spotlight. It was 6 minutes 10.09 seconds, which is pretty good considering how much I had to cover. Uh, still over the 5 minute mark though, so it could be better. But I think I got everything. Now I'm just going to go through it to show you real quick everything running. Factorization use it, it fills up. One of these, one, it takes everything and it'll make you two buckets of fuel. Bedrock breaker, oh, it's already finished. You would see it grinds it down into thin slices and like shaves away at the top. And you just right click it. See, I think every block gets you maybe two or four. The boring machine should have been running this whole time. And you can see it leaves the pipe behind. You can actually go through between the pipe. And it'll prevent gravel or water from flowing in. See, there's some water. And again, pipe, just punch it. Wow. Yeah, it's rid of the pipe. And it mines up everything. Which is really good. Sideways quarry. Never have to worry about moving it. Um, pump, pretty self-explanatory. Obsidian factory, I will move this lever. There it goes. See operation time at the top, 6.95 seconds. Just leave it running, it's still faster than mining it with a diamond pick, usually. Two point ag aggregator, see it spinning. Um, the grinder has an internal storage for lubricant but it, it is really slow unless you get a lot of speed into it this thing I want to show you it takes ore let's do it with this one this one's gonna be the fastest there it goes you can see that bar fills up and then it see that time it split it into two fifty percent now these two will go in, and that could split into two, three, or four, depending on the chances. See, there's another, ch it split into two again, so that one ore so far has turned into four. That process completes two more times. And these are what I mean, the stages, each stage. It's like this one's going faster, because that probably has more of what it needs, and there are all the bars on the side. But eventually you get flakes at the very end, once this cooks up. Wow, this has been two all the way through. If this gets two, that's 32, no, just one. See, it turns into flakes, and those just melt into ingots. Um, pulse jet furnace, I don't think I sh Actually, I did. I showed the um, obsidian working. I still can't get enough torque into this. You need more of this stuff, or maybe a really powerful engine geared up a ton for torque. Because this thing is spinning at 1, um, one radian per second, and the to it's all in torque. Like this thing would normally go at 32 radians. It's geared up 32 times. So yeah, tons of torque. And it's not even there yet. This thing I just already showed. Um, this is done. It can take 18 different items too. So yeah, and this thing I showed. So that is it for this spotlight. Next, I'll be going into farming machines and maybe I'll get into some of this stuff maybe this this is a this is a bunch too but it's not really big things and 
yeah, if the next episode's out, you'll see a link here. Otherwise, you may see nothing. You may see something. But that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time in part four.